guys welcome back to my channel so today as you guys can see we are going to be doing a oh, Sephora haul and I'm not gonna lie you guys I kind of went crazy and just was picking out things saying to myself you know I haven't done reviews or tried new stuff that I've actually bought myself in a really long time so I just had this itch that I really wanted to try some new foundations I've been using the same like three and just interchanging them so you'll definitely see these products in upcoming videos I know I'm gonna be using them but if you want like uh, deep reviews like up close and personal let me show you how to use it kind of videos then you let me know I'm not gonna do first impressions or anything like that I'm going to really really try them for like a week or so so I can give you guys like a really good review but I'll make it one of those like fast ones. I'm actually wearing a lot of the stuff that I bought in this bag today I couldn't help myself I really wanted to try it but yeah enough chit chat let me just show you what I got and you guys can tell me down below if you want to see reviews on it what it looks like blah 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 anyways enough chit chat let's just get into this bag so first things first I'm gonna talk about this because I freaking first impression I used it today is this Dior skin nude air and this has a SPF of 25 and it says it's a nude healthy glow ultra fluid serum foundation you guys the way that this went on my face I used a brush just because uh, a beauty blender would soak up this because the consistency of this is super like liquidy it's a fluid you drop it on your hand and it's like it runs like water but it blended into my face so wonderfully it it reminds me of a lot of the L'Oreal foundation that's very liquidy maybe they're a do for each other I can totally compare those but anyways I was so impressed with the way this went on my face it just it blended like a dream you guys and I used one drop and it covered my entire face and I just think this is going to be the perfect summer foundation and that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was going to cover but not cake because you know it gets hot in Florida and humid here and when you're wearing foundation you literally just want to wash your face after like 30 minutes. So to wear like you know full on makeup like we do it's just it's not comfortable. But with this you guys I feel like it's going to be so fine like just put one layer of this a light powder and you're out the door but I will test it out for you guys. I have that on my face right now. I'm loving it and the color that I got is honey beige I could go one shade darker for sure but when I was testing the colors on my wrist it looked too orange like it would literally look like mud on my face so I would rather have control over that and just bronze my face out if the foundation is too light so so far you guys this I'm loving now let me show you what it looks like if you've never played with it just go play with it the next time you're in Sephora Look at that. It's it's a beautiful little bottle and it has a little dropper. I love it. And yeah, it's super duper lightweight. And I really like that there's an SPF 25 in it. So it protects at the same time. And when I first walked in there, okay, now these two suckers I low-key freaked out about because you guys have seen the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. When I saw Jacqueline, she snapped about these, how crazy pigmented they were. I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to try that stuff. And you guys, this is kind of intimidating. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm so excited to mix it in my foundations and stuff. But again, it's a little dropper. And you guys, the pigment, I'm just going to show you. I'm not even going to drop it. I'm just going to do a little swipe right there. Okay, this little dot, let me just spread her out. Woo, look at that. That's like straight up pigment shimmerness. They had three different colors, I'm thinking, but I wanted to do something bronzy because you know that I'm tan and I just think that this would be the easiest one for me to blend out into my foundation and it look beautiful. The way that this feels, it feels like it's not gonna be like super chunky when you do blend it into your foundation, so I'm super interested to see how this works. So you guys will definitely, definitely see me using this because I'm so interested in how this works, especially with my skin tone. I got the color in Candlelight. And ooh, I wonder how this would work on your lid. Like you put it on your lid as a base and then something. There's just so many things that I want to try with that. And then this sucker was right on top of it. And it's the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator Powder in Addiction. I have that on my cheekbones right now. And first impression, I think it is super beautiful. 
It's one that you can actually go heavy handed because I really went ham in with my brush. Can we just look at her though? Oh, look how pretty that is. Let me put her up close. Isn't that so pretty? Super beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's such a pretty glow. And yeah, that's what I got on my face right now. I really like it. I love the way that it sits on my face. It doesn't really look chunky at all. It's just a really beautiful shimmer. And I'm pretty sure these are all like new. These three, or no, 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 not the Dior, but these two are new because they are, you know how they're like in the stands when you first walk in. And then the rest of this stuff is not really new, but it's new to me and I'm so excited to try it. I picked up two more foundations. Uh, the other one that I picked up is Lancome's uh, Taint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. I've heard about this make or this foundation for years and years and I've just heard it's so amazing. So I'm like, it is my turn to try you out. It's a wear and comfort, retouch free makeup, divine perfection. And does this have SPF? This doesn't have SPF in it, so I guarantee you this is going to look amazing in pictures. Woo, I'm excited about it. This is what it looks like. It's in this wonderful little bottle. I picked up the color 420 Bisque, which on my uh, arm, it looked like that it's going to be the perfect match. So I'm really excited to try this. And all these foundation guys, you're gonna get up close and personal reviews. I'm gonna try them with different tools, how they set, how they wear throughout the day. I'm gonna do a formal review on all of them because I love videos like that and I miss doing them. I haven't done them in so long. So I'm so excited to try that. And also I have been dying to try this foundation too. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation. I've never played with this foundation and I swatched it on my wrist, you guys, and it is so full coverage. My arm, it completely covered literally everything. So I'm interested to see if that's gonna feel cakey on the face. I'm sure that I'm gonna much prefer a beauty blender with this just because of how thick the consistency is. But nonetheless, I feel like it's gonna make my face look literally flawless just because of how much it covered my arm. And the color that I picked up is Honey Medium. This was kind of hard to pick my shade because Honey Medium was a little bit too light, but the next shade was just way too dark. If there was a shade in between those two, then it would have been perfect, but we'll see how she works. I really can't wait to try that. And if you guys have used these products, let me know down below. I would love to know your thoughts. You guys leave the best advice. And uh, the next one that I picked up is Becca's Ever Matte Poreless Priming per Perfector. Who did I see talk about this? Michelle, uh, Ready, Set, Glamour. She talked about this and said that it was amazing. So I saw it and I had to try it. I have it on my face right now. And when I first put it on there, I can totally see how it would be perfect for someone who's oily. But I think she may have oil or dry skin though. And she says it works for her. I could be wrong or I listened wrong, but do you guys have, if you have dry skin and you love this, let us know down below. But so far I liked the way that it felt on my skin, so. I have high hopes for her. And then the last two products I picked up was uh, basically replenishers. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Now this is not my favorite concealer ever for underneath my eyes because it's kind of heavy and it kind of gives your face like you're obviously wearing makeup kind of look, but sometimes, you know, we like that. And it really does make me look perfect under here. It just covers really well, really, wear, really well. And yeah, I really do. I missed it and I'm out of it. So yeah, I just, I replenished it. <laughs> and then I got another one of my Naked Skin Urban Decay uh, concealers, but I got the color in medium neutral. They were all out of the, uh, I think it was medium light neutral. They were all out of it, which is my favorite shade. This one's a little bit darker, but I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'm just gonna keep it anyways because I can mix in another color, but uh, the medium light neutral is my favorite shade, but this concealer is so awesome. It's like lightweight and I just really love the way that it feels on my face. And last but not least, I picked up a super cleanser solid for the beauty blender. This thing gets everything out of the beauty blender and I haven't bought one in, actually I've never bought one. I've always used one of my friends <laughs> and um, I always use like hand soap or dish soap to clean my beauty blenders. I'm like, okay, it's about time for you to just pick one up 
pick one up and use it. But yeah, that's everything that I bought from Sephora. You guys, I kid you not though, I have, do you see this? Let me just, I have to share this beauty. If you follow me on Snapchat, you already saw this, but you guys, I literally open this up and just stare at it for like minutes and I'm like, okay. You're beautiful. What color do I want to wear today? And that's actually what I'm wearing on my lips. I'm wearing this color right here, which is called Swank. How funny is that? My cousin was just telling me about this and I like didn't know that I picked that to wear today. Anyways, so I'm wearing this color and then I'm wearing this gloss in the middle of it, which is totally gloss and these that duo is beautiful it's what i have on my mouth right now i'm absolutely obsessed with these so far the formula of these lip glosses you guys are so awesome and i love the way these feel on my mouth but i mean i put it on this is a uh liquid what is it a matte liquid which they do transfer i'm pretty sure um, I'm wearing one on my lips right now, but I tested one out the other day, but it does transfer, but I would love to show you guys. I mean, I have a ton of stuff that I could show you guys if you guys would like to see a what's new makeup haul. And yeah, okay, that completes this video. Sorry, I'm not going to chat anymore. Let me know down below what products you want to see first. It's probably going to be the Dior foundation because I'm wearing it today and I'm going to see how it holds up throughout the rest of the day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. I'm about to go edit this video quickly and then go hang out with my family. But thank you guys so much for your time. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. But okay, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you.